Hi guys, I want to give you a review. This is definitely not a new product. It has been a huge hype since last year. It's called Advanced Nail 92 All-in-One Cream from Kors. This is the product. As you can see, like it was... It's a simple product. It's said to be made 92% uh, using snail sequestration facet, which is a mucin. And this cream helps naturally create the appealing glow of healthy skin. But a lot of people have used this product because they have amazing results for those who have scar or problems on the skin and they need healing. And also for those who have sensitive skin and dry skin, there's a way with this product so much. I personally have dry and sensitive skin and then um, for me, I'm using the serum as well, which is the, I think the Snail 96. Okay, I have to tell you the truth that um, I don't have any scar on my skin. Like, I have a very, very minimum scar on the skin. I'm not really, I have acne or something like that because I always take care of the skin really well because that's what I think. Uh, I maintain my skin hygiene, cleanliness, including the hands and everything that touches the skin. Um, that's why I never have problem with acne. It's not that I don't have problem with acne at all. It's because I, um, I think I maintain it well because uh, if I forgot, like I have a dirty hand and I'm touching my skin, the next day the acne will come. And then I know how to deal with it, I know how to have the problem, but I know I can general, I cannot general, like generalizing this one, but uh, that's all about me. So I don't know about scar, but I'm using it for the other parts of the body that do have scar, which is a stretch mark because I have a very bad stretch mark. But um, they don't really show results on those parts of the area, so I don't know whether I can testify on that. This is the texture of the cream. This is the product. As you can see, it's really, really slimy. It's like, same goes with the serum. I can use the serum and then this one. Does it help with the sensitive skin? Does it help with dry skin with rashes and everything? Uh, somewhat it does, but not as fast as I want it to. Like, I have to keep on using it, I know. Uh, routinity in skincare is crucial. It's not something that you can instantly use. Like it's not a potion, it's not a magic potion or medicine. So I have to continue using it. Anyway, uh, you need to massage this too for your skin. You cannot just leave it like that when you're in, and you cannot put it too much because it feels too slimy and too greasy. And the texture itself is. It's unique because it's amusing. It's not gel, it's not lotion, it's not cream. So it's kind of like a slimy thingy that you put on your skin. But it feels comfortable. It feels wonderful. I don't notice any smell, any scent or anything. Um, it feels watery on the skin. As long as it's with the alongside with a slightly slimy feeling as well. But it's not like a major slimy thing that's very sticky. No, it's not. And then... Remember when I put it on here? I put it on here a little bit in the photo. And it, it stays like that. It doesn't, you know, um, follow the form of the packaging of the container. But it stays like that. That's the consistency that you're looking for. I don't know whether it's good or bad. It's just, I'm just saying at the And this is when I'm using the product. As you can see, my skin looks moist but doesn't look squeezy. It looks like it's more and it's really comfortable especially when you have a sunburn or maybe you just spend too much time on the sun without using the proper sun sunscreen and everything maybe just feeling hot overall and then your skin you, know, you can use it on your face on your body for me it's everywhere i don't know about the hair though i never use it i never use the product on the hair and i cannot say that i will recommend you nor i will against it i just never use it but on the skin, it's wonderful. It's cooling, it's comfortable, it's hydrating. And then on the face as well, it's also that's good. But I cannot just use this product. I still, I'm using the, the serum, I'm using the cream as well. But I'm using it as a part of my daily routine because I'm still using my moisturizer, my other moisturizer to top it off. The one that contains a bit more oil. Because I do have a dry skin, maybe I need something, maybe you didn't, maybe you're not. It's just very, very personal for me. But the product itself is wonderful. It's good. And I do recommend you to try it for the cooling feeling, for the hydration it's given to your skin, for the light but enough moisturizing effect. 
But if you have a very dry skin like me, you might want to top it off with another moisturizer. And great for sunburn or when your skin feels hot, when you're not comfortable with your skin, like when it's itchy. Uh, for me, like sometimes my skin is really, 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 really dry. And then I just top it off like a uh, couple times a day. So it's just one time. Because all other products, usually I just use two times a day after taking shower or after cleaning the skin. But for this, I'm using it like again and again and again and again. Like whenever I feel uncomfortable, I just top it off again, top it off again. Somehow it does provide like a soothing feeling, soothing sensation on the skin. It's calming the skin also, especially when it's red. Uh, for the itchiness as well, it's helped to tone down and calm down the skin. And then this will have feel and then for me, yeah, it is a great product and it does deserve the rave. But for the acne marks, for other scar and everything, I cannot testify you on that. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you somehow clarify or maybe uh, give you a picture of how I'm using the product. Thanks so much for watching the video. Bye-bye.